that the prebendal looking at things and say, right, and eventually we, we put together this little display for that, just for that period. Um, it's been so successful. People have come from all around, literally come from all around the world. Um, we even got Australia represented today, you know, amazing, amazing. Um, so, the decision was to turn that temporary exhibition into a full-time gallery and a full-time thing. Now, we couldn't have done that without tremendous support from Duina, the family, and the Robin Gibb Trust. Now, they, you know, we, we just couldn't do it. You just can't put, you can't go into someone's house and say, give me some of, give me some of the things off the mantelpiece, um, you know, without a great deal of support and, and trust. So thank you for your trust in all of that. As we've gone now, we've actually improved the, the, the exhibition we got more artefacts in, more items, and I think we must continue. We may even refresh again. I'm putting her on the spot now. Uh, we may be able to refresh again at some other time. So we we'll keep the exhibition alive. But it is now a permanent exhibition. Um, as you go into the gallery, you'll notice we've got two very brand new glass cabinets showing more of Robin's uh, artefacts. Um, they were kindly donated by the Robin Gibb Trust, so we're extremely grateful for their support in that way, as well as other ways. So that was tremendous. Thank you, Rita, for making the event. Now, we are a, a local history museum. We try to tell the story of Tame, and you can't tell that if you've got someone fairly famous sitting down the end of the road, or was sitting down the end of the road. Although, we are a totally run volunteer organisation. I'd like to thank each and every one of them for their contribution they do and the amount of support they do to make this project. But I will stop at that point and there are three, four people actually in this room that actually need a little bit of a round of applause and a big thank you. One of them's got their hands in the air here with the camera, Louise. There is Yvonne sitting there. Sitting, standing. Oh, standing there rather, <laughs> and Pat sitting over there. These three ladies have done so much work, it is just absolutely fantastic. And I can't mention them without then saying there's Eleanor in the middle here, who has actually held this together at the time and kept us on track. So thank you to the, to the four ladies for that. Can I bring round to the So with all this support going on, one great thing that came out at the end then was, of course, Duina got herself totally involved. She's a historian of her own right. She's very, very uh, well read. She taught me a lot about Irish history, which I had nothing, nothing at all about. Um, and then we were absolutely uh, blown away, right, because we asked Duina if she wouldn't mind being the patron of the museum. And she's done that. She's worked with the people. She's very, very well liked by all the volunteers, and now actually gets involved in a few other little bits and pieces. So I will hand over to Greener and Bellet. That's it. We're just looking forward now to welcoming back some old friends when they come to revisit, and we're also hopefully we get some new friends to to, uh, to come and have a look as well. So if I could just ask Greener just to say a few words. It might only be a few. Um, <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, David. Um, well, all I can say is thank you very much, Tane, and, um, and all the fans and everybody, you know, all the people who come from all over the world. And it's really nice to actually have, you know, something for Rob. So, okay then, before we get in there, I think we'll ask, we can ask the reader to cut the ribbon. Yeah, I'm just getting the right, my stage manager over here is giving me all the stories. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, you come with you. Yeah. Oh, I've got the little one up there too somewhere. Yeah, little Oliver's not very happy about it. Little Ollie. Yeah. Okay.